I've been asked to do a number of vivas recently, and I thought it might be interesting to share some of the thinking that I go through when I'm reading uh, a PhD thesis. Uh, it might also be useful for those who are trying to write a thesis to understand how somebody reading it might approach that, uh, and particularly their thought process. So I'd start off with looking at the ontology. Now, the ontology, as I'm sure you know, is how does the person understand the world to be? Is the world real? Are things within the world absolute? Or is the world somehow relative, where everything exists in relation to something else? So we're looking at, are they trying to measure something? They're defining things and they're measuring them and saying, well, this is, this is what it is. Or are they looking at more social constructs? Are they doing interviews? Are they creating uh, worlds and saying, well, this is the perception of this group of people. So I would look at the ontology and then the epistemology. Uh, epistemology is, is about what is true. So given an ontology, what can we know to be true? So if you have an ontology that is saying that things are real in the world, your epistemology might be very empirically based, so your methodology might be measuring things very definitively. Likewise, if you're quite relativist, then your ontology would be relativism, your epistemology be, would be looking at, well, how do things exist, coexist together, and your methodology might be interview-based because you're getting perceptions of things in the world. I'm particularly interested in ethics. Ethics is what is good. What is the good? I look at, uh, you know, how, how does somebody live their best life? What, what is good in a particular context? So when I'm reading, I really look at how has somebody formed arguments? Now, arguments are built on a series of propositions. A proposition is a claim. Now, a conclusion is a form of proposition. When we're constructing our conclusions or our propositions, what we have is a series of premises. Now, your premises are, are your, your elements of evidence, your little claims, your subclaims that lead to your conclusion. So you might start with premises from literature. So those things that you're quoting are actually a series of premises. Those are your claims. You might also come up with premises from your own research. And your research would also construct a series of premises that lead through to a conclusion. And that's what you're proposing, your proposition. Now, your thesis is an argument. And arguments are make, made up of a number of premises that lead to a, a proposition, a conclusion. Now, your argument may be valid and it may be sound. And they're actually subtly different things. So when I'm looking at an argument, I'm looking at the premises that lead to the conclusion. Now, if all the premises are true, the conclusion must be true. That makes a valid argument. If the argument is sound, all the premises are true, and therefore the conclusion is true. When I'm reading, I'm reading and I'm saying, well, this is a premise, this is a premise, this is a premise. These are the premises that the individual's constructed. They've added their own in, and that's led them to this conclusion, this proposition. Are they all true? Can they all be true? And then is this therefore a valid argument? And if they are all true, and it's impossible for this to be anything but true, then this is a sound argument. And that's really the test of a good thesis that I'm looking for when I'm reading. Even if I don't really understand the subject, I can still test out from a philosophical point of view, the arguments, whether or not they're valid and whether or not they're sound and break it down and really understand what it is that particular individual is trying to say in their piece.